Hello everyone! Welcome po ulit sa ating Mat Isip Tagalog video tutorials. I hope you are all doing well. For our lesson for today, ang pag-aaralan po natin is absolute value of an integers. So kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood yung video natin about uh, integers or the introduction to integers, mas maganda pong panoorin nyo muna before you proceed with this video. At para sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-subscribe, I encourage you to click the subscribe button. And for our fellow teachers who would like to avail of our PowerPoint products, you can always click the link in the description below. Alright, so without further ado, let's now proceed with our lesson. Okay, ang objectives po natin for today is to identify the absolute value of an integer and its meaning on the number line. Okay, but before that, let's have a short review of what integers are. Okay, remember, integer is a whole number that can be positive, negative, or zero. Okay, or ito na po yung mga tinatawag nating signed numbers. So we have negative integers on the left, zero po yung nasa gitna, and then positive integers on the right. Positive integers can be written with or without the positive sign, but negative integers must have the negative sign. Okay, ang zero po natin it is neither positive nor negative. So, wala po siyang sign. And don't forget, fractions and decimals, hindi po sila kabilang dito sa integers. Alright? So, now let's have the integers in real life. Okay? We also learned about the applications. So, if we have here a building, no? Yung ground level, it represents zero. And then, yung above ground, it represents positive integers. And then, yung nandito po sa baba, below ground, it represents now the negative integers. So, it's more of a uh, directional. Ano? Kung pataas po tayo, it is positive. Kung pababa naman, it is negative. So, it follows a specific direction whether we will categorize it as positive or negative. Pero, paano naman po ang absolute value? Now, here in absolute value, this is more of the distance. So, it talks about Distance. Ito po yung pinakamahalaga dito po sa concept ng absolute value. So, how is this? Let's have a question here. What is the distance between your home and school? Gaano po kalayo yung school sa bahay nyo from your house? So, example lang po, meron tayong 1 kilometer na distance. Okay? So, your school is 1 kilometer away from your house. Now, does it matter if you start from any direction? Ibig sabihin, pag balik rin po natin, manggagaling ka sa school papuntang bahay ninyo, yung 1 kilometer po ba ay mag-iiba or it will stay the same? Yes, it will stay the same. Parehas lang po, ano? regardless of what direction you are going to follow. The distance will always be the same. Yun po yung concept ng absolute value. So again, if you want to know how far itong uh, integer nating 3 from the starting point which is 0 we talk about the distance and remember distance is all about the length at uh, magnitude okay meaning uh, ilang values or units yung madadaanan mo in order for you to get here in this point okay yun po yung distance natin so if we're going to count from 0 up to 3 gaano po yan kalayo all right it's 1 2 and 3. The distance is 3 units. Now, if we want to know kung gaano kalayo si negative 3 from 0, ganun din po ulit. We will just find the distance. We will just count the number of units. So, we have here 3 units. So, positive 3 din po siya. No? Yun po yung tinatawag nating absolute value. The absolute value of an integer is the distance of the number from 0 on the number line regardless of its direction okay it is denoted by two bars ito po yung dalawang vertical lines dun po sa loob natin ilalagay yung integer okay example po we have here the absolute value of 3 is equal to 3 yun po yung basa niya no so I, I repeat the absolute value of 3 is equal to 3 now how about negative 3 the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3 as well, no? or positive 3. Take note, it's never negative. Ang distance po 
ay laging positive. That's why absolute value is always positive numbers. Okay, let's take a look at more examples. We have here absolute value of 10. Okay, gaano po yan kalayo from 0? Alright, the answer is 10 units. Okay, it's positive 10. How about absolute value of negative 10? Gaano rin po yan kalayo from 0? It's still positive 10. Yun po yung distance. How about absolute value of 0? Alright, of course it's 0. And how about this one? Paano po ito babasahin? Okay, this is read as the negative of absolute value of 10. Okay, ano po ang sagot? It is negative 10. Bakit po? Remember, yung negative po dito is wala po siya sa loob ng absolute value symbol. Meaning, ang absolute value lang po natin dito is referring to 10. So, ang absolute value ng 10 ay 10. And then, you carry out mo lang yung negative sa labas. It will be negative 10. Okay, how about the negative of the absolute value of negative 10? Okay, the answer here is negative 10 pa rin po. Because the absolute value of negative 10 is positive 10, you just carry out negative sa labas. Okay, it will be negative 10. Next one, we have here an operation. Okay, easy simplify lang po natin. I-evaluate lang po natin yung nasa loob ng absolute value symbol. So, 5 plus 3 is just 8. So, what is the absolute value of 8? It is positive 8 as well. Next one, what is the absolute value of 7 minus 2? Alright, simplify lang po natin yung nasa loob. It will be 5. Okay, 7 minus 2 is 5. What is the absolute value of 5? It's positive 5. Next one, what is the absolute value of negative 4 plus 4? Okay, take note, meron po tayong integer dito na may absolute value. Ito muna ang unahin natin. So we have here negative 6 will become positive 6. And then we just add it sa 4 dito, it will be positive 10. Next one, Negative 3. Okay, what is the absolute value of negative 3 plus the absolute value of 12 minus the absolute value of negative 2? Okay, paano po ito? Alright, isa-isayin lang po natin, no? Ano ang absolute value ng negative 3? It will be 3. Ano ang absolute value ng 12? It will be 12. Ano po ang absolute value ni negative 2? It will be positive 2. Okay, and then i-carry out lang po natin yung mga operations. So we have here 3 plus 12 minus 2. It will be 13. 3 plus 12 is 15 minus 2. You will get 13. Alright, lastly, we have here the absolute value of 7 plus 3 minus the absolute value of 4 minus 3. Ganon din po ulit. Isa-isayin lang po natin. What is 7 plus 3? It will be 10. What is 4 minus 3? It will be 1. So, you just subtract yung absolute value ni 10 minus yung absolute value ni 1. Which is 10. Absolute value ni 1 is 1. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. Alright. So, ganun lang po ang mag-evaluate po ng mga absolute values of an integer. Alright, at this point, let's take a look at examples of absolute value applications in real life. Alright, so we have here the first uh, example. Uh, it's a problem about temperature. Okay, let me read. In Seoul, South Korea, the temperature early in the morning was negative 5 degrees Celsius due to the winter season. By noon, the temperature had warmed up to 4 degrees Celsius. How much did the temperature change from morning to noon? Okay, first, in our solution, we have to understand the problem. No, In the morning, ang temperature is negative 5. But at noon time, the temperature is 4. So how are we going to represent this using absolute value? Negative 5, we get the absolute value of negative 5. And then for the noon temperature, we get the absolute value of 4. Since we are talking about the distance. Okay, gaano kalayo si negative 5? from positive 4. Alright, so we will just add yung absolute value niya. So we have negative 5 will become positive 5 and then positive 4 will become positive 4. Therefore, our answer is 9. 
the total temperature change from morning to noon is 9 degree Celsius. Okay, we have another example here about problems on cars. Okay, let me read. Two cars, A and B, left the car park at the same time and traveled in opposite directions. After one hour, car A was 20 kilometers west of the car park and car B was 24 kilometers east of the car park. Represent the given information in absolute values and find the distance between car A and car B. So we can actually... Uh, illustrate this, we can represent it using integers first. So, ang atin pong starting position is dito po sa car park. And we have here car A and car B on opposite directions. Using an integer, we can say that car A is in the position negative 20 kilometers away from car park. Nasa west po siya. And then, si car B is 24 kilometers away from the starting position. Nasa east po siya. Now, first, we have to illustrate it using an absolute value. Okay, represent using an absolute value. We have here absolute value of 24 plus absolute value of negative 20 para malaman po natin yung distance nila sa isa't isa. We now have here 24 plus 20. Therefore, the answer is 44. Okay, absolute value ng 24 is 24. Absolute value ng negative 20 is 20. Kaya po siya 44. The distance between car A and B is 44 kilometers. Okay, to test yourself whether you understand our lesson for today, meron po tayong exercise dito. You will compare the values of each item by writing the symbols less than, greater than, or equal in the space provided. So, I can give you time. Pwede nyo pong ipost itong video na ito. Then, you can answer on your own. And then, you can come back to check your answers. Okay? Papakita ko po mamaya yung mga sagot. Okay, I hope you are now ready to see the answers. Ito na po yung mga sagot natin for numbers 1 to 10. Okay, yan po. So, I hope nasagot nyo po ng tama. I hope mayroon po kayong naintindihan. Kung kailangan nyo pong balikan, i-backwards nyo po yung mga part na kailangan nyo pang uh, intindihin. You can always go back to our previous lessons as well. I hope meron po tayong naintindihan for our lesson for today. Okay, ang atin pong next videos is all about addition and subtraction of integers, multiplication and division of integers. So I hope to see you again on the next video lessons. Thank you for listening. God bless po and bye-bye. Kung meron kang natutunan sa video na ito, please click the subscribe button to support this channel. Para mas matulungan ulit kita sa mga susunod mo pang math lessons. Lagi mong tatandaan, ang math ay para sa lahat. At ako si Teacher Van, nagsasabing dito sa mat isip, lamang ang nag-iisip. God bless and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.